Hey guys, Draven Arts Productions here, and today we are going to be doing another review on one of my Christmas presents, and it is another Thomas item, and and it's awesome from Playro. So this one is the Thomas and Friends Let's Connect and Play Full Freight Car Collection, released in 2021, where it comes with Kevin, a, f a flatbed, a treasure chest car, a balloon maker car, the yellow milk trim car, a blue chosen truck, a container car, and then an express coach. So the box itself looks really nice. So yeah, it looks incredible. I do love the box, it's quite amazing. So here is the front and then the side, the top, and then the other side, and the bottom. And then the back itself. As you can literally see on what it literally comes in this pack. All of that stuff in Japanese true style. Japanese lettering style. So yeah, it's really cool. Anyways, let's unbox this thing. Mm -hmm. I think I will do at the front for a change. There we go. Bada bing, bada boom. Yeah. And that's it. Aside from that block of cardboard in there. And you can definitely see of how the box really is. There's one space, which is empty. And then Kevin is literally placed pretty awkwardly. So yeah. But why not take a look at Kevin anyways? Anyway, so here is Kevin. So the front looks really nice. His face is also his face his face is accurate. And this and the details inside are pretty good and pretty accurate. And it and it scales pretty decently with the motorized Trackmaster and even Playrail, and it looks quite nice. And the crane arm itself is pretty good going up and down and such and such. All right, let's compare two other incarnations of Kevin. So we have the Trackmaster push along one and the ugly duckling in terms of Kevin merch, the motorized version. So, here's the comparison between those Kevins, and I'll try to do the best as hard as I can. So, here are the size, here is the size, and then the backs, and then the other sides, and then the tops, and yeah, and even the fronts. So, yeah. So yeah, it's just pretty different of the between those Kevins. Although if I wanted to get a perfect Kevin, it would have to be one of his take and play models, but only the early 2010s ones with the two-way magnets. So yeah, that's the comparison of the two of these Kevins. Now we move on to the flatbed and it also literally come with these little sheet right there explaining about different things like putting batteries inside the engines and what is going on and such and such yeah but those aren't even really important right now anyway so you have a lighter shade of green flatbed which is nice and it's nice to get more flatbeds and you can definitely put Kevin in there and it looks really nice it looks really nice and it and it literally gives you the vibe of Day of the Diesels where Kevin was on the flatbed with Percy. So that's a nice little touch. All right, so the next rolling stock is the treasure chest car. And it looks really nice. And it is definitely something that it would have been 
released during the King during King of the Railway released in 2013. So it looks really cool. I do love its details, the sticker details of the of the Olsted Castle signage thing right there. And then the back is plain and then the other side is exactly the same and then the, the top and then the, I mean the bottom. And then all of the treasure cargo beautiness and they can absolutely and it absolutely just jiggles along while the treasure is just wobbling, which I think it's a really cool gimmick. All right, so the next rolling stock is a balloon maker car. And it looks really nice, it looks nice. So as you can see right here, the sides and then the stickers for the balloons and a circus tent, the front and then the sides and then the back. And then you have those traction tires to roll those those balloons, which I think it's really cool. So yeah, this would be kind of neat for a circus train, don't you think? And now I'll be taking out these two cars here. Whoa, there we go. So, this one is the Milk Churn's yellow car, and it's it's really nice to have one of those since the first one that I had came with the Thomas and the Wagon set, and they look pretty different in terms of color, but the wobbling Milk Churn's remained largely the same, but in different colors. So, it's a little bit of a nice variety. So yeah, it's really cool. And then we have a lighter shade of blue, troublesome truck with fish. Let me take off that rubber band. So yeah, it looks really cool. So you have that CGI looking troublesome truck blushing and stuff. So it's cool. And all the sides remain exactly the same. And then you have the fish. Really nice truck. Now on to the final two. And that would be a, and that would be the container car, which it is seen by Playrail, but only in non Thomas items based on real life locomotives. So yeah, it is really that is really cool that I had a container car at the palm of my hand. Maybe I'll get more of these. Anyway, so here's the front and then the side, and it literally says Sodor and a shape of Thomas, which is really cool and then the back and then the side. And you can literally take off those containers, which is really cool. And this can be quite useful if you're using it for a flatbed. So it's really cool. It's a really nice container car, which I'll definitely will use when making goods trains. So. A lot of creative ideas there. And then last but not least, <laughs> uh, the Green Express Coach. And it looks pretty good as always. Really nice of its green color and then the white being a little bit darker, and, but that's fine. And this is the Express Coach is just so nice. What else needs to say about this? Okay, so all of the rolling stock are lined up and Percy will be pulling them in a few minutes. So in conclusion, what do I think of the Let's Connect and Play Full Freight Car Collection from Playrail from 2021? It's a really nice pack. And I finally completed the entire pack trilogy from Playrail from 2003 and 2021. So, I would have to give this pack a 10 out of 10. It's a really cool pack if you wanted to have some really cool accessories. Anyways, let's give Percy a... Let's have Percy pull these cars.
And I do apologize of how messy the layout is. I will have to rebuild it from the ground up. And that's all for the time of the review and the run of the Let's Connect and Play Full Freight Car Collection from Playroll. I hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you want to. And let me know what are your thoughts on this particular pack. This is Draven Nowards Productions, and I'll see you again on the next review.